Lies of P is a dark retelling of Carlo Collodi's The Adventures of Pinocchio. This game is set in the fictional town called Krat, where puppets created by genius inventor Geppetto have replaced the working class people. To ensure that the humans aren't harmed, all puppets are bound to the Grand Covenant, which basically forbids them from lying or attacking humans. Due to an unknown event, the puppets go against the Grand Covenant, they frenzy and start slaughtering everything inside. At the same time, an illness called the petrification disease has spread throughout the city, turning humans into stones or sometimes even monsters. You play the character of P, a unique puppet that isn't bound by the Grand Covenant. Shortly after the puppet frenzy has started, you are awakened by Sophia, which is the game's version of the Blue Fairy from the books. She tells you to find your way to Hotel Krat, thus beginning your journey. Throughout the narrative, you slowly discover the truth behind the horrors that have befallen in Krat. Before I begin this video, let me clarify that I'm not an experienced Souls-like player. I have only played Elden Ring and Codewain. I'm not great at video games in general, I've never really claimed so. I consider myself average at best. With that being said though, I did cheese my way through the entire playthrough of Lies of P. Uh, the game was difficult honestly, it is beyond my skill level and I have nothing but respect for people that finish the game without cheesing it. This review is strictly from an average gamer's perspective, so if you are someone who is an elitist, this is not for you. The combat feels extremely fluid but of course it had certain issues. It has your basic normal attack and charge attacks with bladed weapons. You can also block incoming attacks to take reduced damage by guarding. If you time it perfectly right, you'll get what's called a perfect guard, which negates any incoming damage and can also destroy the enemy's weapon if done a few times. Perfect guarding can be very rewarding to learn as you can stagger the bosses and follow up with massive critical damage. My main issue with the game was that I found the perfect guard window to be too short. It is extremely punishing for a game that is so heavily reliant on this mechanic. Perfect guard is also the only way to guard against the boss's fury attack. Now of course you can dodge but you'll have to upgrade your dodging when you have access to the P-Organ system to make it a little more fluid. In my opinion, the upgrades shouldn't have been locked behind the P-Organ system. They should have definitely been the base movement. P also has a mechanical arm called the Legion Arm. There's a decent variety of Legion Arms that are available to craft and use according to your playstyle. In Lies of P, you level up using Ergo. If you die, you lose it all unless you go pick it back up. Like every Souls, a Souls-like game. Later in the game, you also unlock what's called the P-Organ system, which is basically your skill tree. You can upgrade it using quartz, which can be found at certain places in the game and is usually dropped by mini bosses. In the beginning of the game, you'll be given weapons based on what build you want to pick. You can begin with a balance build, a strength build or a dexterity build. As you play, you will find more weapons and you can keep experimenting. Be mindful about where you put your level points because respecking won't be available till mid-game. You can also save the ergo drop by bosses to get cool boss weapons. Each weapon consists of a blade and a handle. The blade affects the base damage and the type of attack it does. The handle is more about the moveset of the attack and the scaling of the weapon. The fun part is you can actually mix and match different weapon blades with different handles to suit your playstyle. Keep in mind though, you cannot dismantle boss weapons. You also get access to cranks later which can completely alter what the blades scale to. Each handle and blade also has its own unique weapon skill called Fable Arts. In short, Lies of P allows you a lot of freedom to customize your weapons however you want to match your playstyle. Level design was pretty decent. The game is beautiful to look at even though there is many repeated assets being used. Each chapter had unique areas but were fairly linear. Of course, there's always surprises hidden when you explore the side corners. Be wary of ambushes from random enemies though. <coughs> there's also a decent amount of stargazers, which is your checkpoint and travel system. You can also unlock shortcuts to make your path to the next stargazer easier should you find yourself dying a lot to random enemy mobs. I did have certain moments where I absolutely hated the level design. Plus the camera angles do not help when there's huge enemies that attack you in narrow lanes. Each chapter has its own unique set of enemies. They could be puppets or even mutated human monsters that have been victim to the petrification disease. 
each enemy will have different strengths and weaknesses which is for you to figure out with trial and error. I face a lot of issues with some elite monsters and mini bosses. Boss design in this game was something I found myself repeatedly complaining about. Almost every boss had multiple chains of attack which were super tough for me to perfect guard. I found it to have way too much artificial difficulty. I personally am not a fan of when games are difficult just for the sake of it. And yes, of course, there was a skill issue, I do not deny it, but to say that there aren't any balancing issues is wrong. There's a lot of Souls veterans that are also talking about how this game isn't very well balanced. But the great thing is, you can cheese through the game with throwables just like I did if you find yourself stuck at a boss. The music in this game was my absolute favorite thing. There are some side quests in the game that give you records that you can play at Hotel Krat and it's some of the most beautiful music I've heard in a game. Make sure you take time out to collect the records and give them a listen, it's definitely worth it. Even the ambient sounds are amazing. It always gave me an eerie feeling and made me anxious about the horrors that lied ahead. This was Neovis's first attempt at a Souls-like and I can't wait to see what they do with the sequel. It's a beautiful love letter to From Software rather than just being a cheap copy. Lies of P ended up being the toughest game I've ever played and I'm so glad I finished it and didn't give up the multiple times I said I would. I ended the game with 264 deaths, most of which were sadly due to fall damage. I 100% recommend this game to everybody despite its issues and honestly the issues are extremely minor. And if I can finish the game, so can you. At the end of the day, even if you cheese, a win is a win. And if you're not too sure if you want to spend so much money to buy the game, you can always get the Xbox Game Pass and give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this review. I know I didn't cover every single detail about the game, but most of the things that I missed out on are either pretty self-explanatory when you play the game, or I feel like it was going to spoil certain elements, so I decided to avoid them. If you do have any more questions though, please leave a comment and also let me know if there's any other games you'd like me to play and review. Thank you so much for watching.